Hi everyone, are you ready for our lesson today? Today we will learn grammar, all, both, neither, none and either. And please turn to page 55 of your textbook. The first one is all. It is used for more than two people or things. It is used in affirmative sentences and takes a plural verb. Anna, Mary and Chris are going to a concert. They are all very excited. You can also say, all of them are very excited. Next, we have both. It is used for two people, things, etc. It is used in affirmative sentences and takes a plural verb. Bill and Ted are cousins. Both of them are in a team. Or, they are both in a team. Next, neither. Take note that you can also say neither. Both neither and neither are acceptable. So it is used for two people, things, etc. It is used in affirmative sentences and gives them a negative meaning. It takes a singular or plural verb. Patty and Monica want to get a cat. You can say, neither of them have had a pet before, or you can say, neither of them has had a pet before. Next, none. It is used for more than two people, things, etc. It is used in affirmative sentences and gives them a negative meaning. It takes a singular or plural verb. All my friends love pop music. For this sentence, you can say, None of them likes jazz or None of them like jazz. Next, either. As with neither, you can also pronounce this as either. It is used for two people, things, etc. It means one or the other and it doesn't matter which of the two. Should we order Italian or Chinese? Either, I don't mind. Okay, so we're done with the notes. Now, I need you to complete the grammar practice on page 55 with all, both, neither, none, or either. Okay, please pause the video now and come back later after you have finished. Okay, everyone. Are you ready? Let's discuss the answers together. Number one. The fans are angry because the team has lost all of its games this season. The players are disappointed but none of them want to talk about it. Number two. We could either walk to school or go by bus. What do you think? Number three. A. Do you use a computer to do your homework or do you write it by hand? 3b. I do both. It depends on which subject it is. Number 4. In my opinion, history is neither interesting nor useful. I don't know why we have to study it. Number 4 is not my opinion. I think history is both interesting and useful. Number 5. Both Angela and Edna had the soup of the day, but neither of them liked it. Congratulations! We have finished our lesson today. But before I end my video, here's a nice quote for you to read. Okay, bye!